Welcome from Caravan Salon, Dusseldorf 2020. This is the 2021 range from Itineo, which is the sort of cheap brand of Rapido. It's not the cheapest brand of Rapido because they've got their Dreamer camper vans. Now, I personally don't really understand the market positioning of doing sort of uh, various brands, but that's the way it is. And uh, anyway, let's have a look at the MC700. And this thing here, it's got a queen's bed and uh, 743 centimeters in length it's 120 liters of waste water 120 of fresh water 20 of hot water for sleeping places four places around the table four belted positions this 59,300 but this thing is going to 64,720 pack home cinema 2490 uh, euros uh, this is written in french even though we are in fact in uh, uh, Germany and it says 2020 there so okay and uh, uh, and the pack life the like life pack 1300 includes certain things such as reversing uh, camera it's uh, daytime running lights are LED it's got the uh, electric step it's got oh it's got all of this stuff as well all right got um, air conditioning in the cab manual So you can see it's on a Fiat Ducato, as everything else is. Now what this has got though, at the back, which is, uh, I think, a little bit more unusual, it's the layout here. So, step round to get into bed, should you want the step, it's down there. You've got a place here to put your alarm clock, if anybody it's got one of them. I mean, for anybody under the age of 40, what an alarm clock is something that tells the time and it makes a, a, a noise. You've got one on your telephone as well. And uh, there's the toilet. There's me. And this is rather unusual. I appreciate that blue lighting might be everybody's taste. I think it looks quite good though. Also, built in place to hang your socks up. Brilliant. Now, I personally, I'm going to leave that open actually for a moment. I'll walk in here and show you the view from the shower. From inside the shower. I have to say that I quite like that as it is. In fact, what I'll do is you can close this up here. Now, obviously, this is a problem if somebody's sleeping up there. Well, maybe you can make arrangements to use the shower, which I appreciate, but it's much more difficult to make arrangements to use the toilet. Somebody, as a comment on one video, couple of days ago I said ah oh, the, the solution to this is to sort of plan when you're using the toilet. It didn't quite use those words but that's what that was what it was. How do you plan on when you're using the, dog, the toilet? I mean the dog something you can train a dog. I don't know how you train people to do it. I know that many of my mates of my age uh, have to use the get to use the toilet a couple of times during the night. Fortunately I haven't quite got to that stage yet. But uh, it does happen with age, and that's something I'd like the plan not to, ha to happen to me. Anyway, that apart, just make that one. If somebody needs to use the toilet during the night, there's no curtain or anything like that. And let's be quite frank, there's no way to put it anywhere. You can't put it anywhere. So, just being realistic there. In all times I've four poster beds, and the reason for that was that nobody had thought of building corridors. If you've got a corridor, you don't need a four poster bed. You don't need a curtain around it. Alright, so here we have got three burners. Some of them have got two burners, I think. You know, you have two or three. The advantage of having two, I suppose, is because the distance they are uh, apart and more central, centrally placed. Three, do you ever use them? 
I have probably can count on both my hands the amount of times in the past 10 years I've been living in a van how many times have I had all three on then again part of that time we only had two anyway so central locking for the drawers Same in Rapido. So if the van's the same as one that's costing 10,000 euros more, well, they've got to be saving the money some, somewhere. So something is going to be different. Something is going to be cheaper. Or to put it another way, something is probably not so good. One thing I've got to point out by the floor, this is a temporary floor, I think, for the purpose of this trade fair. Please note the words, I think. Oh, there's a big fat fridge here as well. And you've got a freezer above. Television up there. Right, um, obviously it's got a queen bed and one of the disadvantages of queen bed of that nature is often the garage. So if you, you probably get a slightly bigger garage, but certainly that would be, I don't think you get, well, I couldn't get my bike in there anyway, I don't think. Maybe I could if I put the handles glass down, I don't know. Oh, so this is new. New as opposed to this model's new rather than not second hand. Oh, and this is the Rapido stand, look, they've cleaned the carpet up nicely. So, so what do you think of that? Like that? If you do, then you might want to uh, write a comment down below. You like that, and if you don't like that, you also might want to write down a comment below. You're going to compare it to anything, compare it like to like. This is a 60,000 euro van, not a 160,000 euro van. So, thanks very much for watching. I uh, hope you found that of interest. And I've got stacks of other videos of vans and all sorts of other things related to van life in general. So, this is me in Dusseldorf signing out.